take your sense hat box. Just open it. Get a little bit of information in there, and you also will have this little mounting kit. Sense hats in this bag, and you have these little bag, this little bag of screws, which is uh, designed to just mount only the sense hat to the Raspberry Pi. We're not going to go straight into making the Astro Pi flight unit because that's a, a quite a long old process. And if you just want to get going quickly in the classroom, this is what you want to do. Okay. So there you go. There's the sense hat. Um, so let's just quickly mount it to the Raspberry Pi. You can get away without using these screws if you want to. Um, and essentially what happens is that those two connectors fit together and then the four mounting holes in the corner, you put these stand standoffs in and that holds it nice and rigid. Okay, and that'll stop the kids from being able to cantilever it and possibly make, make it touch so you get any short circuits or anything. So what I would do is take a screw and just pop it through one of the holes of the Raspberry Pi first. Okay, and then we'll You've got the four standoffs on. Okay, take the sense hat, line it up with GPIO header. Okay, make sure that you're not like one port to the left or right, and then you're just gonna put, pop it together and just push, and that's it. It just locks down like that. And now you take the other screws and just screw them into the top. Okay, and this is where you can use the screwdriver. Just pop that in there. Just quickly do that up. Now, when you get to the the end of it, if you if you uh, as you tighten it, it will tighten both screws at the same time. So you probably see the sense hat itself move a little bit, the actual standoff itself turn a little bit when you do this. Okay. You can, if you are being really quick, you just want you can just do the, the, the two that are on this side. On the HDMI side, because that side there is held rigid by that um, that connector anyway. So you could just uh, just do two of the standoffs if you if you're in a hurry. Okay. Last one. Okay. So there you go. That's basically what you want to do. That's like stage one of uh, of uh, preparing for Astro Pi. So you can all the kits that you get, you can just do this for, and then you're ready to go. Okay. Now, if you write code that's on one of these, it can run straight away on a on a on an actual flight unit. Okay. So you can see that if you look at the, you can look at the equivalency of this. That that's basically what's in there like that. And you can see like that's what that's how it lines up. All right. So now we're going to turn it back on now when you do this you should see the following now if we switch back to the main view obviously there's no power switch in a raspberry pi so when you turn it on you just do are literally just hot plugging it so you should see a rainbow pattern which you might not be able to see here which should then disappear after about i don't know about 10 15 seconds it should just go blank okay There you go. Okay, so that's that's the normal behavior. If if the if the rainbow bat pattern remains forever, then the Raspberry Pi isn't detecting the sense hat. So uh, the normal procedure is for it to boot up and then it clears the screen once it's uh, you know detected the Raspberry Pi and installed the drivers for it. Okay.